So, it's 2002 and you decided to go ahead and buy a brand new Sony Handycam. Excited to make your first video, you get it out of the box and you charge up the infolithium battery so that you can actually start. Of course, you put it into the camera, you open up the LCD and take off that lens cap cover and you turn on the camera to find nothing. You soon realize it's actually not 2002 anymore and that your once new camera is not so new anymore. Of course, you don't know where your power supply is or you do have it, but it just doesn't work anymore. So now you have no way to power up this thing and you're stuck with a nice looking brick. That's where this comes in. This is a third party charger from TKDY and it is compatible with Sony Handycam camcorders and other cameras that they have released around the same time period. I found this specific model brand new from Amazon and I made sure that it would work with my Handycam based on what the original manual listed as well as checking the compatibility list on the Amazon listing. Now if you don't have the official Sony manual for your camcorder, it's really easy to find it on the electronics.sony.com website. Now you just have to head over to support and click on product technical support and from there you can select which product is applicable to you. Now in this case I'm heading over to the cameras and camcorder section, then selecting camcorders again, and here you can select which format your camcorder is. Now mine is tape based so I'm heading over to the tape camcorder section. There is a list in which you can search for your specific model but alternatively you can also just type it in into the search bar and it'll automatically pop up. These are also high resolution captures of the manuals and it's really convenient to have considering how easy it is to find and how much information they provide. There are different Sony charger standards, so it's important to double check that the charger will work with yours. Inside the actual box, there is nothing apart from the charger and an AC power cord. Once you get it out of the box, the only thing left to do is to actually try it out. So now that we have the charger, plus the camera, and the infolithium battery, it's time to test it out. We have the camera set up. So currently we have it set to off and if it's working we should be able to see that the LCD is on. It is showing that the battery is charging so that's a good sign. Let's actually try it out. Down should be the camera, clock set which is to be expected and we have a picture. So of course it's complaining about a cassette not being inserted but the camera is working which is quite cool to see because this camera hasn't been powered on in what feels like ages. It's probably been years at this point, but uh, now that I actually have a proper functioning charger and power supply, it will be used again. This has been the unboxing and review of the TKDY Sony Handycam Charger. If you have an older Sony Handycam and you don't have the power adapter anymore, then this is definitely worth getting. At the very least, to digitize those old tapes and potentially even use the camera again for the first time in however many years. So if you've enjoyed the video, then please consider subscribing as it'll help the channel out and it'll help me bring out more videos like this. And if you found this information helpful, then consider leaving a thumbs up as that'll also help out the video. As always, thanks for watching.